In this video, I'm gonna show you the top three strength training exercises you should be doing if you're a woman over 50. Hey there, Hunter here from Hybrid Fitness, and today I'm gonna to go over the three top strength training exercises that you should be doing if you're 50 years old. And the reason these are great exercises uh, for that age group, especially for women, is because these are all modifiable, meaning that we can make them harder or easier depending on your fitness level. The other reason I love these exercises that I'm about to show you is because they're all compound movements, meaning we're going to be working more than one joint at, the time, at one time, which means you're going to activate more muscle fibers to help you lose weight, burn fat, build that metabolism. These are also pretty joint friendly and again we can make them easier or harder to match your fitness level, work around things if you have knee pain or back pain. We can still help you so you can get the most benefit from these three exercises. So let's get started with the first exercise and it is a dumbbell thruster. So I'm going to pick up these dumbbells right here and again remember that all these movements can be performed without weight. So in a dumbbell thruster what you want to do is have your feet just about hip width or a little bit outside of that apart. You're gonna bring these dumbbells right to your shoulder. We call this a shoulder rack position. Now I'm come here from the side. And what you're gonna do is sit back into your hips, weight and heels, and you wanna to shoot to get to 90 degrees like I am, and then exhale up, squeezing your glutes, and pressing straight up, keeping the weight in line with your ears. So we're inhaling down, exhaling up. And the most important thing with this movement is you'll notice that my back is staying nice and straight, you can have a tendency to lean forward and that puts stress on your lower back and we don't want that. So let's say that you're unable to get that low in the squats or you're unable to press the weight overhead without curving your back and having back pain. That's okay. I'm gonna show you how you can do it without pain and how you can still get benefit. So first of all, you can go without weight right here. And a lot of the times just by removing the weight, you're gonna be able to do this with your arms or even try soup cans or two or three pound dumbbells, you're still gonna work those shoulders. So the other way we can do that is come up here to a bench like I've got here. You're gonna sit down and stand right up. So we're now using this box as assistance so you can build the strength, you can build the range of motion so that you can perform this movement safely while getting that full effect for weight loss. Now the second movement that we're gonna to move to is a reverse lunge with a lateral raise. So this is a single leg movement. And what we're gonna do, I'll come here to the side again, is we're going to step back. So take one big step back, and we're gonna create a 90 degree angle with our leg. And then I'm gonna to drive to this front heel, put all the force I can here, just like that. So this is a reverse lunge portion of this movement. But now we wanna add that lateral raise. This lateral raise is gonna work our upper back and our shoulders. So what you do is you come right down, and as we come up, we're gonna raise down and raise, keeping those shoulders activated. And I'm not coming, I'll come from the front uh, angle here. I'm not going any higher than shoulder height. I'm staying pretty straight in line with my shoulders and that is gonna activate your entire body. Now again, if this seems difficult for you, then of course, you can do no weight. You can also, just not go quite as low. If that bothers your knees, stay up high, do what you can, and then raise the arms up. And again, you can do this without weight at all, and you'll even feel it up there. If you can't, just hold really light weights. It really does not take that much. Now what I'd like you to do is actually alternate. So you're gonna switch legs back and forth, just like that, and repeat the motion. All right, so we've got those two movements. Now we're gonna finish up with our third and final movement, and that is a step up with a bicep curl. So in a step up, we're mainly gonna be working our hamstrings, our glutes, and our quads. Again, we can hold weights here. So what I'm gonna have you do is we're going to use one, where you're gonna have some sort of step. It could be from a staircase, it could be a bench, it could be a plate stacked up if you're at a gym, whatever works for you, and it can be at different heights. Obviously, the lower height that it is, the less difficult it will be. The bench is pretty high here, and I'm gonna use that as, a, as an example today. So I'm gonna step up, plant my heel, and notice how my leg's at a nice 90 degree angle. From here, what I'm gonna do is step up, I'm gonna curl, and step right back down. And I'm gonna reset my feet 
at the bottom. So I'm like this. So drive, curl. Good. So we're also not only working our legs, but we're working our arms, the front of our arms, doing that bicep curl. And again, what I would like you to do is alternate your legs just like this. And again, if you want to make that harder, drop the weight or don't use any weight at all. Lower the step or make it higher, make it easier or harder. And just like that. And so what you can do is take these three movements, the dumbbell thruster, the reverse lunge with the lateral raise, and the step up with a curl, and do those simultaneously. If you do each of those movements for 45 seconds, then uh, each, which would add up to a little over two minutes, you're gonna get your heart rate up, a little bit of cardio going, and your muscles are gonna be burning. I'd say repeat that for three minutes, and by the end, you're gonna feel great, your muscles will be worked, and uh, you'll, you'll just feel good about yourself. So hopefully this workout is helpful. Thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you liked it, please hit the like button below. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And please subscribe, it helps us so much. And if this gave you some value, I'd be happy to uh, give you more. Um, also, if you'd be interested in more uh, tips like this, we have a full program on our website at hybridfitnessgym.com. Head over there and we'll give you a detailed plan on how to continue to get the results that you want to see in your life and your body. So have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.